What's up everyone and welcome back to the comms channel. I know there's a lot of you out there that are interested in Mesh-tastic but either don't have a 3D printer or you're not a fan of having to put all the stuff together and would prefer having a more turnkey device. For those of you out there looking for a portable device like that, there's really only been one that fits the bill for quite some time now and that's been the T-Echo from Liligo. I recently tested and reviewed the new solar enclosure from Rack Wireless with the larger solar panel that many of you are excited about for the same reason. And for today's video I have more exciting news from Rack Wireless and that's that we finally have another portable turnkey device and that's this device we have here called the WizMesh Pocket. And that's what we're going to take a look at in today's video so join me as we take a closer look. We're approaching a restricted area. Restricted area is one mile west. Today's video is sponsored by Rockland Technologies. With a great selection of mesh-tastic capable devices and antennas, they've been my go-to store for these and I highly recommend them. Before we get into it, I want to mention a few things. First, this device was sent to me by Rockland and is one of the early prototypes that they received. And since this is a prototype, some of it what you see here may not be what's in the final product and you want to go off of what the product's description says when it's released. One example is the device I have here has an RP SMA connector on it, but the Rack Wireless product page lists them as having SMA connectors, which I'm sure many of you will be happy to see as SMA is preferred by most people people. Also, if you've never heard of Meshtastic, it's an off-grid communications platform that allows you to send and receive text messages back and forth using an app on Android and Apple devices. You'll have these radio devices like the new WizMesh we're going over in today's video that you connect to your phone via Bluetooth and that gives you the capability to communicate with people who are within range using Meshtastic completely off-grid without needing signal from the cell phone towers. If you'd like to learn the in and outs of Meshtastic, be sure to check out our getting started with mesh tastic playlist and advanced mesh tastic playlist will include links to in the video description below. So looking at the device itself, the first thing you'll probably notice is that it does have a 3D printed case. And if you're familiar with Tony G on Printables, who is well known in the mesh tastic community for his awesome 3D printed cases for use with mesh tastic capable hardware, you'll likely notice that they're using his design for the Rack 1907 5005 boards. Rack Wireless is working with him on this release and it's great to see them working with people in the Meshtastic community on this project. Speaking of the Rack 19007, that is what we have inside the device with the Rack 4631 core module, which is essentially the Bluetooth and LoRa radio with an NOR52 microcontroller, which is basically a tiny computer that runs the Meshtastic firmware. Devices like the T-Beam and Helltech have been popular for a while, but I've never been a big fan of those for solar or portable use because they use the ESP32 microcontroller, which is much more of a power hog than the NR52 microcontrollers used in this device and the T-Echo. For comparison, you can get over a week of use on a single 18650 battery on an NR52 device like these boards used in the new WizMesh Pocket. Using that same type of battery in something with an ESP32 power device like the Helltech or T-Beam, you're lucky if you can get more than a day of use. So for that reason, I always recommend using NR52 devices for portable or solar power devices. Now this new WizMesh Pocket has GPS in it, which will of course use more battery power than an NR52 device without GPS, but even with GPS, it will still consume much less battery than an ESP32 device. On the front of the device, we have an OLED display to show the various Meshtastic related screens. Then on the side, we have a button here that's recessed to help prevent accidental presses. And this button is known as the user button, and it's used to scroll through the different informational screens with a single press. Double pressing this button will initiate a position update process that will send your position to the mesh and request a position update from others. Triple pressing this button will disable and enable the GPS and finally long pressing this will put the device in a deep sleep mode and to get it out of the sleep mode just long press the button until you see it turn back on. We also have one of these small antennas on top that look a lot like the ones that come with many of the devices like the T-Beam. I generally recommend that people upgrade their antennas on most of these devices anyways so this isn't a big deal. Then on the bottom of the device, we have a USB-C port and a physical on and off switch, which is also recessed. 
The location and it being recessed should help prevent an annoying flaw of the Lilygo Tieco, which is that the buttons aren't recessed and are very easy to accidentally press. Me and many others have had issues where the Tieco gets rebooted due to accidental button presses. I've not run into this issue with the WizMesh Pocket while testing during hiking. This device is bigger than the Tieco, but that is partly due to it having a battery with almost four times more capacity than the Tieco. The Tieco has a fairly small battery coming in at 850 milliamp hours, whereas the WizMesh Pocket has a 3200 milliamp hour battery in it, giving you much more runtime before having to charge it. In closing, this is a great portable device with everything needed to get started with MeshTastic and since this is a turnkey solution that's ready to go without needing to do any 3D printing of your own cases and put everything together, getting into MeshTastic is extremely easy with the WizMesh Portable and a great option for new users. And better yet, Rockland is running a promotion on pre-orders for the WizMesh Pocket for $15 off the usual $99 price tag, which is already a good deal to begin with considering all of the included components that make up the device would be about $122 if purchased separately. Not only that, you'll also receive a free t-shirt with your pre-order during this promotional period, so be sure to order so you can receive this promotional offer before it goes away. That'll do it for this video on the new WizMesh Pocket, and I hope you found today's video useful. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and then subscribe if you haven't already done so, and be sure to check out our MeshTastic playlist, which I'll include links to below. Thank you all and have a good one.